Short answer, no. Great, Graham. <laughs> Completely agree. And I mean, I'd be interested. Can I ask you actually, Jeremy, because you've looked at the trial data in much more detail than me, I'm sure. But um, as a, you know, as a haematologist and as a clinician, we're always warned against comparing results from two different trials. And we often hear that, oh, the Oxford vaccine was 70% overall, the Pfizer was 90%. But I was a participant on the Oxford one, and we had to do asymptomatic testing every week. I don't know if they had to do that on the Pfizer one. So, you know, can can you say one is more effective than the other, the 70 versus 90, or can you yeah, just not? There are differences between the trial, and it makes it quite hard to compare. The The actual end result, the, the, the primary endpoint for both trials was symptomatic PCR positive. So the, the swabbing that you were doing was a different subsection of the of the trial, and that's about transmission or trying to identify, um, well, basically where it affects asymptomatic disease. Um, and but, but, I, but if it was positive, I might invent, I might sort of think, oh yes, that snuffly nose, and maybe I've had a headache or a slight fever. I don't know, well, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're absolutely right because you, you know, the symptoms that they're talking about, you could probably have you know, randomly. And in fact, that's true. The control group had quite, hey, it was fine. So um, a lot of the people who were PCR negative had symptoms, but yeah. So uh, I think I think the efficacy, people, there's a lot of emphasis, especially amongst Americans, again, bigging up the, uh, the Pfizer versus the AstraZeneca. But I think what will happen in, as it all washes out with larger numbers, is that the differences between the two will become closer. They won't be so marked, I suspect, in the efficacy. And really, the efficacy we really want is prevention of disease that causes you to end up in hospital or kills you. And I suspect both will be equally efficacious at doing that. Um, but it will take a very large number of patients to be well, subjects to be vaccinated before we, we have some good data for that. 